Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can install unassigned drivers inside Windows 8 and 8.1. Now, there is a problem with this uh, issue with uh, the mobile devices and stuff like that, phones. You've got um, the driver signature enforcement built into Windows 8 and 8.1, and also it will be inside Windows 10 as well. Now, when you come to install, uh, drivers sometimes you may run into problems it might not be recognized and you may have a few issues so I'm going to show you some steps that you can take to eradicate all these problems and be able to install all your drivers so let's have a go at uh, showing you what to do here now uh, all you need to do first off is to disable the uh, driver signature enforcement inside Windows 8 or 8.1 and this will also work with Windows 10 as well so you want to come down to where the charms bar is and click on uh, settings. Once you click on that, you want to click on change PC settings. Once you're in here, you want to come down to where it says update and recovery. Now it might be slightly different if you're using Windows 8, uh, but it will be the same process, but in a different location, uh, but it will be in here. Okay. So update and recovery. And then you want to come down to where it says recovery here. And then advanced startup you want to click on that and restart now once that restarts we want to go into where it says troubleshoot and then we want to come down to advanced options and then we want to move over to where it says startup settings click on that and then you can see here the restart to change windows options such as and we're looking for disable uh, driver signature enforcement that's what we're looking for so we're going to start here now once you get to this stage what you want to do here is you can see here use keys or functions f1 to f9 so we're going to be doing f7 because it's number seven so f7 this will then disable it and you'll be able to boot up to your desktop And once you've done that, you should be pretty much good to go. You click on your desktop and you should be able to install your drivers now. Okay, so what I want to show you here is right click on the Windows icon here down in the bottom left hand corner. And then we're going to go to device manager. Now what you'll be looking at is something like this. And this will be the device that you've got plugged in. Okay, now forget about what this name is. Yours will be an Android device or something like that that's not recognized. And you've got the yellow exclamation mark there saying that it doesn't recognize it. And you may be trying to install the driver and it won't work and it may be getting blocked. Now, also, the way you can get around that once we've disabled the uh, signature enforcement, which we've done, this will now allow us to install the driver. Now, sometimes drivers, when you download them, they come in this format here, which means you've got no executable file. Uh, they're just uh, CAD files and stuff like that and little um, INI files and whatnot okay so you right click on these and you can uh, then install from here as you can see or you can do it the other way if you look inside here there is no um, executable file there to run on there okay so what you want to do uh, is you can either do it that way or you can come into your device manager and go properties and then you want to come down to where it says update driver or you can click on this tab here and update driver depending on which way you want to go now you can see the driver provider would be unknown you may be getting something along these lines where uh, digital signature is not signed and stuff like that and this is where the problem lies so to update the driver here then you want to go to browse my computer for the driver and then you can also now go to that location which is browse and browse to that folder okay and then pick your version which you want to install and then away you go so if you want to do this one or, or sometimes you can just go straight to that folder and it will find it and install if it doesn't you need to go to the exact path where it wants to install it okay and pretty much from there you're good to go now obviously this driver is not meant for this uh, particular thing i was just showing you that but basically that's how you do that now if you want to use the command prompt you can do now if you can't boot the system up you can't get to the desktop because you're having an issue there then you can always use command prompt and I'll show you how you can do that from the desktop but you can also boot into command prompt uh, via a CD if you wish uh, but you can right click on the bottom left hand windows icon there come up to where it says command prompt admin 
say yes to the user account control and what you want to do is use this big long command here okay now this is going to disable the signature enforcement and we will be able to then install that you just push enter and it will say the operation completed successfully pretty much that's it okay so that's how you can enable or disable uh, the driver signature enforcement and then install an unassigned drivers on your uh, system okay on a windows 8 or windows 8.1 or Windows 10 operating system. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. And also, if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that, you can go over to my forums. The information is on the screen right now. Join up over there, it's free to join. And also, you can join the community, post all your questions or problems, and we'll do our best to help you out over there. Sorry the videos have been a bit sparse lately, I haven't been making many over the last week, uh, I've been a bit busy uh, and also I haven't made many written tutorials on the website for a couple of weeks, been a bit busy there as well. But hopefully things will pick up and I'll be able to get back to normal. But anyway, have a great uh, day and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.